What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I saw Mike's um, Nitro Speed. Mike's put out a um, St. Patrick's Day car fest with all green cars. I thought it was a pretty good idea, so figured I'd do the same thing. Show some uh, all green cars today for St. Patrick's Day. So first one up is the custom I just did for three blind mice. Um, it's Deuce Roadster. It was for the Painted Green Challenge. Uh, I just did a video of it. Put it out this morning of this car. Didn't keep it up there too long, but it was out already, so. But she came out pretty good. And next up is a custom I got. Yesterday, from Caliber 50 Customs, this was his entry into the Maple Leaf Custom Porsche build, and he sent it to me, because you had to send it to somebody, I was very thankful for that, this car is awesome, so I figured I'll just put this one up, this one's green too, so he did a great job on this, car is awesome, the paint's beautiful, the wheels are beautiful, awesome car, very glad to have it, it's a 911 GT. Three, I believe. But awesome car. And this is one I got today. I've been searching and searching and searching to get this car for a good price. And I finally got it. This is one of the last evil twins that I need for the collection. Um, this is the Halloween um, edition, 2013. I believe it's a Kroger exclusive. Um, never could find it for a good price if you could find it at all. There's not too many of them out there, but I got this one. I left it in there for a watch, and he gave me a discount, and I grabbed it. So, just came in today. It's an awesome car. So awesome. It's got the teeth on the sides. Beautiful green paint. The gold motors. Green flames. Just love it. What a beautiful car. So I'm going to have to look and see how many other ones I'm missing, but I know it's not too many. But, um, yeah, very, very glad to have this one. You see the teeth right there? It's pretty cool. Very nicely done. There's the Halloween. Hot Wheels. Halloween. Beautiful car. All right, here's an old Matchbox Lamborghini Countach. Nice dark green. It's like all different shades of greens, of course. And I tried to mix it up with different brands and stuff like that. This one's nice. I like the old Matchbox Countach. This reminds me when I was a kid having cars like these. I still have some of my Countachs when I was a kid. Nice green color with light tan interior. Really nice car. Okay. We got another Lamborghini up. This one's a premium. The Lamborghini Huracan LP. This came out in that um, premium set. The... Um, I forgot what it was called. Small little hyper cars in there. Don't remember. That was an awesome set. I got the whole set. Exotics. That's what it was. It was the exotics. Beautiful green metallic color. Beautiful rims on this one. <clears throat> this and the Bugatti were the two out of favorite out of, out of the set. This one probably was my favorite. Love the wheels on that. car okay and then we got another premium 72 Gran Torino from Fast and Furious set another beautiful car love the rims on it very nice car
Nice green metallic. <clears throat> Did a great job on this car. I'm glad I got this one. Chrome interior, I'm not too crazy about, but it's not bad at all. Okay. Next up, I believe this is a Hot Wheels. No, I don't think it's 100%. I can't remember where I got this. This is 67 Pontiac GTO. More of like a sage green type color. Lighter green. Beautiful car, though. I think I bought this loose. That's why. <clears throat> Not an auction. I don't know if it was from one of the garage series or if it was 100%. But it's awesome. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I got it. Beautiful car. Love. That's my favorite year. The GTL 67. Love that body style. Okay. Next up, we got a 49 Merc convertible. This is from that Christmas, one of those Christmas um, editions. 2005, I believe it was. All metal. Awesome. Awesome paint job. Beautiful wheels. Front detail. <clears throat> I don't remember if it has rear detail. I think it does. I thought these were fully detailed. Nope. <clears throat> but what an awesome car. That's another series I'd love to get more of. I got a couple of them, but I'd love to get a whole lot more of them. It is an awesome series. Did a great job with the paint jobs, the wheels. They're all metal. Great series. Okay. And we got a 70 Chevelle SS and the Hot Wheels Classics. Antifreeze green. Beautiful car. My favorite casting. This and the other Chevelle. <clears throat> Look how beautifully done that car is. <laughs> Got the um, good Goodyear tires on it. Front and rear detail. Beautiful antifreeze paint. Extra flame. Beautiful. And then I got another Hot Wheels Classic, the 57 Chevy, also in the antifreeze green. This one, they didn't do the detail, I guess because of the stripes and the stuff on the sides, I guess. But it's still awesome. Love the wheels on it. Love those five spokes with the white uh, wall around it. Such a great wheel <clears throat> for a non Premium wheel, non real rider. It's really nice. Beautiful color. Okay, next up, we got a mail in from last year. This is 67 off road Camaro. Um, this was number six. Yeah, this was the last one from last year. Um, this I got in an auction early, like m a month or two before it actually even came out. A guy had it loose and I bought it. I got a good price on it. So I didn't do the mail-in for this one. <clears throat> and I see super mini wheels, the guys I go through on eBay a lot are getting the mail-in cars for 40 bucks. So I think that's definitely worth it. Um, by the time you buy $20 worth of cars and mail in, pay for the postage of the card you're sending in, and the, then you add shipping for the next car coming back, you know, which is another 8 bucks or something. So, 
you're up to over thirty dollars anyway. So and you deal with all the bull crap of doing it anyway, I'd rather just buy it for a few dollars more. But this is awesome. I love the lift it up Camaro with the push bar in the front and the back. It's so awesome. I like the set they had last year. It's a very nice color. The set this year looks nice too. The colors are nice. This year too, two of them are out. The Zay Mac, which is usually number one, it's number two this year. And um, I forgot what the first one was. Yep, it's that one. And next we have the Cougar, Mercury Cougar 60 Super Treasure Hunt. I got this for a pretty good price from somebody in an auction. Um, I think I got it for 20 bucks, if I remember right. And this is a casting I love, so I'll pay the extra for the ones that I really like and I'm trying to get them all of. And this is just a beautiful car. The chrome rims on it. It's, the paint is beautiful on it. One, definitely my favorite super that I have. Besides the 70 Chevelle, the purple one. <clears throat> this is my second favorite. <clears throat> Beautiful car. All right, next up we have the Byway Man, I believe it's called. Or this one's called, yeah, the Byway Man, I think. This one's really cool. We got a roller. He's doing pretty good, too. But that's an awesome, the Oak Brothers Bio Recycling. I mean, I love this casting. This is another one I try and get as many as I can get when I see them. <clears throat> These are nice to make customs out of. Because they're all metal. Put some real riders on here. Awesome car. I mean, the interiors are crappy. The seat doesn't go all the way. I don't even think there's a steering wheel in these. But the truck is awesome. This thing's cherry. I bought a whole bunch of these as a set from somebody on Instagram. And he was just getting rid of a lot of his collection. And I bought the set. So I got a price for buying the whole thing. Better price. Okay, and we got an M2 coming up. That thing's sweet. 57 Chevy. This thing is a beauty. Beautiful green color on this one. The red line wheels. Nice, beautiful tan interior. I love this car. M2 does it right. They do it right. I think the hood opens on this one. I don't remember. Yep. Let me show you that. Not the most detailed motor, but not too bad. That's the beauty right there. That gold front and thing is this great in the grill. <laughs> Love it. Next up, I got a muscle machine. I believe this is a 32 Ford or 33. I can't remember what it was. It doesn't tell you on the bottom. <clears throat> this is one of the older muscle machines. This one's really cool. A nice green color too. I love the wood backs, the slats. It's awesome looking. Big motor, the belt right on the front there. I love it.
really cool looking. Next up, let me just see which one this is. is yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. This is a Jada. So this is a little bit bigger. I don't think the hood opens now. 70. Um, Ford Boss, Boss Ford Mustang. Big time muscle. Thing's awesome. Beautiful color on this one. <clears throat> I haven't gotten any of these in a while. I haven't seen really these in a while. They used to be all the time in Walmart. Now I don't see them anymore. Look how beautiful paint. They have so many nice ones of these out there. If you start looking, you can, this is another rabbit hole you can go down very easily. So many awesome ones out. Look at those wheels on this one. I mean, they're a little bigger than 164th, but they're still cool. Okay, next up, we got Atomica Lotus 311. This thing's really cool looking. I haven't got any Atomicas in a while. I have about eight or ten of them. Um, these aren't the, the, the highest priced ones, the premium ones. I don't like those. I like these kind. These are around like eight bucks. But I got a bunch of Ferraris. It's mostly what I buy since you can't get Ferraris really in anything else. I saw this one and I really liked it. It was something different. I like the color scheme on it, the shape. Pretty cool. Atomica. Out what series it is okay and then this beauty i just got opened up today 75 cadillac el dorado from auto world this thing is awesome this is the last one for today that is a beauty the hood does open but it won't stay open i tried it's a blue motor but it just falls right down again but look at this car this thing is huge very heavy casting beautiful green it's lime green poly or something. I forgot what it was called. Interior's green. But that is one beautiful car. I can see if I can get it just so I can show you guys the motor, but it's, it doesn't want to stay. Um, let's see. Come on. Nope. Every time I try and do it, it falls right down again. But that's the motor. wants to go down but isn't that a beautiful car look at this color mm, i really like this casting i'll be looking for more of those if i like the colors i'm just going to get them for the heck of it but if i like the color and this color was great big text i think it says on the license plate which i thought was pretty cool i'm pretty sure that's what it said if i can get it to focus on it yeah big text <laughs> awesome Well, that'll do it for me, guys, in this video. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day and a great night.